Bimbo and Coco make such a great team. I really enjoyed Betty Boop's Penthouse. This is a 1933 Fleischer cartoon directed by Dave Fleischer. And it starts off with Bimbo and Coco doing a, a science experiment. And they're creating some potions that kind of increase the intensity of an animal, for example, that can turn a kitten into a lion, that kind of thing. And then they become distracted by Betty Boop, who is on the roof of her penthouse across the way, doing some gardening, basically dancing in um, water from a hose and flowering her, watering her flowers and, and singing a rather delightful, catchy song. The music in this is really brilliant. And while their backs are turned, the potion that Bimbo and Coco were making bubbles over and creates this being. And there's this wonderful Frankensteinian moment where some of the characters shout, it's alive! And I had a lot of fun with that. The character, this monster, is fabulous. I love the design of this. There's this gorgeous bit of animation where we have this extreme close-up of the monster's face. And in his eyes, we can see the reflection of Betty Boop. And we can see that he is maybe lusting after her. Um, definitely he has eyes for her and she's in danger and honestly I loved it I thought it was beautifully animated the pacing was maybe a bit slow it took a good half of the cartoon to actually birth this monster but because I enjoyed watching Coco and Bimbo and because Betty Boop was singing a rather delightful song I didn't mind any of that it's very well animated really good fun a lot of visual humor and I really enjoyed it love the design of the monster it may be my new favourite Betty Boop cartoon. Um, we have Betty Boop voiced by Mae Questel in this cartoon. We also have Billy Murray as Bimbo. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. From start to finish, Betty Boop's Penthouse was an absolute delight. Definitely think it's my new favourite Betty Boop cartoon. Really thoroughly recommend it.